Hi, I'm Tavia. Today I'm in my home garden because I wanted to introduce you to another favorite flower, Penstemon digitalis, also known as Foxglove Beard's Tongue. Isn't that a great name? Foxglove Beard's Tongue. And the reason it gets its name is because the shape of the flower looks like a little glove. Can you imagine putting your pinky in there? Well, guess what? You could do that, but you might be in the way of our native bees. If you look closely and we get lucky, we'll have a bee come in. And what it does is it scurries its way in and then you'll see a little bumble butt and then it will go into the next flower. There's lots of nectar at the base of the flower. They're beautiful corollas, beautiful little glove type, almost, almost foxglove looking uh, flowers. So this is a beautiful plant. It grows from Maine to Georgia. It's native here, which is fantastic because it adapts really well. Oh, there's a little bumblebutt. It adapts really well to our soils and our climates. What, what's wonderful is when it's dry, it adapts. When it's wet, it adapts. And it loves clay soil, loamy soil, yummy, rich, fertile soil. This plant will adapt to anything and it's deer resistant and guess what? It's drought resistant. What could be better? It will flower from, you know, about two weeks ago until another, maybe another three or four weeks, early summer. And what I love the coloration. You'll see a slight pinkish tone to the back of the petals, the actual, the top of it. There's a little bit of a purplish pinkishness. There are other cultivars, Husker's Red, which is glorious. And another one which, which is a favorite is Dark Towers. And those are even deeper in pink. So you'll love this plant because it grows about three feet tall and you'll have this flush of color. And if you plant them in large groupings, you'll really have an impactful statement in your garden. You'll also especially enjoy seeing all of our native bees. So please enjoy Foxglove Beard's Tongue. Happy gardening, enjoy.